confusion. Officer Aguirre. The plane's closed. Lo the plane closed Lone Star Officer before you sports a tacky hat and a crooked grin to match. So you're the one who's working for the dead man, eh? McCluskey warned us you might be sniffing around after the Ripper. Looking for you, I got here before McCluskey. I'm Officer Aguirre. Pleased to meet you. Now, seeing as this crime scene is going nowhere fast, what can I do for you? Meh. I can't. I, I, it's just a compulsion. What can you tell me about about the murder that took place here? Not much, really. We know it was about three hours ago, and we didn't know that her eyes had been surgically removed. And we did know that her eyes had been surgically removed. Didn't need Dresden to figure that much out. I'm looking, he's been looking at the body, though, so he, he, he might have more. Me? I've been scanning the rest of the scene and looking for witnesses, but no luck so far. Damn Ripper might as well be a ghost. I take it you and McCluskey don't exactly see eye to eye. Oh, too soon, Flandry. <laughs> Let's just say McCluskey and I have conflicting interests. Do you have any leads on the Ripper that I should know about? Ah, plenty. If you ask McCluskey, but the truth is, we're as clueless as you probably are. Thanks for your time, officer. Hey, hold on a minute there. You haven't put in a donation for the Lonely Orphans Fund. Lonely Orphans Fund? Yeah, see, you make a contribution to the fund, I put you on a list, and let you know the next time we find any orphans that you might be interested in. I see. So, you want to bribe. He sighs. Yes. Subtle. 300 million, and I'll slip you any new information we get on the, on the Ripper case. Alright, so. <laughs> His face puts into a wide grin. Excellent! I'll start an account for you. I think they did, like, not only you don't give, just give him a one-off bribe, like, you have an account. <laughs> you can get, like, store credit for police bribes. If you get any new useful leads on the Ripper, I'll give you a call. Now, I better get back to work before McCluskey shows up. See you around. He seems all too happy to uh, be taking bribes. He's... Lone Star, Lone Star is not a very good police force, Nick. What was the police force in um, Deus Ex? Was in there a... Shanghai? Oh, um... They weren't the local police, but... Uh, Bell Tower. Bell Tower, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the, the security... I'm heavily reminded of Bell Tower when I think of this... Elf. Actually, a lot of this, I know it's in a similar setting, but... Well, yeah, Deus Ex is very much cyberpunk-influenced. Yeah. Elf. Yeah, there's a charming specimen, huh? Oh, yes. Welcome to the crypt! I've got a ghoulish tale for you! <laughs> the elf standing before you may be quite possibly be the ugliest elf you've ever seen. His meticulously clean lab coat form a... For Format jacket. That's probably a typo. It's a formal jacket, I think. An old-fashioned bow tie gave him the look of an undertaker from centuries past. He notices you approach and locks eyes with you, smiling a thin, unnerving smile. Hello there, stranger. Might I inquire? Do you know which organ grinder's facility this body will be removed to? Just who's asking? Why would you want to know something like that? Or, wow, I didn't even know elves could be that ugly. <laughs> elves are sort of, often, generally tend to be sort of like, like, sort of like, like inhumanly beautiful. Like if you play, like if you start as an elf, you get plus one charisma. Who's asking? The elf giggles, a strange, high-pitched warble you would not expect to emerge from his misshapen face. Oh, I'm no one of consequence. Never mind that, though. A good evening to you and your friend, the coroner. He seems trustworthy. Totally. He just runs away. Dresden looks up, and a grin spreads a grin. You enjoy this far too much, Dresden. Need something else? Any fascinating new leads? You notice a particularly ugly elf standing in the there in the crowd earlier. Huh? Where? Scans the perspective surrounding the crime scene. He's gone no, now, but he was asking about the body, wondering which organ grinder's facility it will be sent to. Interesting. Well, there's those who might be interested in purchasing some of her parts, sure. But that's pretty poor form to inquire at the site of a murder. It's just not done, Nick. It's gauche. An ugly elf, eh? We'll keep an eye out. Shouldn't be too hard to spot if he comes back around. Socially taboo. One Sergeant Aguirre up over there seems pretty friendly. Can I trust him? He chuckles. Yeah, that sounds about right. Any opportunity to get in McCluskey's way, he'll take it. A bit sleazy, sure, but I'd take a guyer over McCluskey any day of the week. Eh, you get people. That, that's so real life, though. Knowing people who are like a dirtbag, but... They're better than this other dirt bag. Exactly. Yeah. 
Want to buy some BTL? Better than it's like the better than life chips. Oh, I thought he was uh, offering a BLTs. Oh, that 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 would be that I. I don't think my character's eaten this whole game so far, so I don't. I know. Glad there's I no. That. Glad there's no trolls around here. Ah, oh, I could go for BLT. Damn this bland diet. I have to eat just like rice and bananas. Wait, oh no way! Blind Lucy. Lucy's the name of that girl. They call her Blind Lucy. That's interesting. Let's talk to this That's guy. horrible. What's that? Why would they call her Blind Lucy? Or are they asking if he blinded Lucy? No, he said no, no. Her name, no, her nickname is Blind Lucy. Well, that's no. It's it's not a reference to the murder. Oh, okay. The orc before you wears the standard stuffer shack employee getup. The uniform is well kept and well fitted, but the tears streaming down his large crooked face do little to improve his appearance. He does not seem to notice you approach. One of your things you ask is, "What's with the waterworks?" I take it you knew the victim? Yeah, what's it to you? My condolences. Were the two of you close? Thanks. Sorry, we're just not used to folks being too friendly around here. York wipes away some tears with a dirty napkin. Yeah, we were pretty close, as co-workers go. Blind Lucy and I worked together at the shack for three years together. Started on the very same day. Blind Lucy? Well, Lucy wasn't completely blind, but she was legally blind. She had to wear these huge glasses and hold things right up to her face. But she got new eyes about a year ago. All right, now I'm not going to tell you what this is, but I'm going to, I'm not going to spoil the mystery. But I will tell you what my own thought processes were, as I uncovered clues. Okay. Any idea how she scored the new eyes? No, she wouldn't talk much about it. Just called it her stroke of good luck. I guess that luck ran out. Now that what occurred to me at the time as I was playing this is that, okay, Lucy had bad eyes. And someone, at, until prior to the organ trade, but Lucy had bad eyes. And, right. and someone killed her and took her eyes. Right. Sam was an alcoholic. Right. Someone took his liver. Right. That didn't... Coincidence? Uh, no, the, yeah, I was just thinking about that. Is it like an organ repossession? Perhaps. They seem, but they seem to be taking the, the, taking the organs that had some sort of, you know, affliction or whatever. That's true. Except, Lu had, except, had, except yeah. Lucy no longer was afflicted. She'd had them. She'd gotten a transplant. Right. So interest. And like I said, Sam' liver was probably not too healthy, considering the way he lived. Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, like I said, I won't give spoilers away, but just that's like sort of what went through my head when I first saw that. No, she wouldn't talk much about it. Just called it her stroke of good luck. Guess that luck ran out. Seen anyone strange in the store lately? I see weird stuff every day. It's a stuffer shack. But no, nothing worse than usual. Is this supposed to be like McDonald's? I think so. Yeah, it's like a fast food franchise. Stuffer shack. Did Lucy have any enemies? Well, I'm not sure. I know she had an ugly breakup with her boyfriend after getting those new eyes put in. The guy was pretty upset for some reason and wouldn't leave Lucy be until she filed for a restraining order. That all seemed to die down a while ago, though. When was the last time you saw Lucy? Here at the shack, earlier today. I think she was going to the market to meet a friend. Hell, I was going to join her on my way home, but we got some last-minute customers, he sighs. That's all I needed to know. Thanks for your help. I'm sorry for your loss. Wait, you wouldn't have to be part of the investigation, would you? In my own way? Why do you ask? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a shadow runner. I'm not some sort of super secret illegal corporate mercenary who, wa you know, wanted in a dozen states. Well, Lucy had this necklace, an intricate little carving of a dragonfly on it, wore it every day, said her mom gave it to her when she left Denver. Any, anyway, you know how Lone Star is. All of her stuff will be bagged and placed in evidence storage until the seventh world awakens. I just thought, well, I just thought if you could somehow get that necklace back before Lone Star cleans everything up, you could send it back to her family. I feel like I owe her that much. I understand. If I can find it at the scene, I'll bring it to you. Thank you for your help, Fred. You know where to find me. Optional quest. Recover Lucy's necklace from the Pike Place crime scene. Probably just gonna end up in Aguirre's pocket otherwise. <laughs> so I, I... The fact that this is cr crime scene tampering doesn't really make me feel that guilty. Wait, is that... It's going to take all my skill. All my cunning. 
really I haven't saved in quite a while. The game does auto save for you when you change places. You can just reach down to pick up the ne ne necklace, catch the attention of the nearby officer Aguirre, or quickness four, pretend to drop your PDA, then quickly pocket the necklace while bending down to retrieve it. But you know, I just bribed Aguirre. Maybe he'll just let me take it. Catch Aguirre's attention. Hello, can I help you? I need to take the victim's necklace with me. It may help in my investigation. Well, if it'll help you, that means it won't be helping McCluskey. Officer Aguirre reaches down, picks up the necklace, and hands it to you. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, <laughs> got a cra Cracker Jack police squad protecting the people of Seattle. Let's get back to that troll. Frank looks up at the user approach. Were you able to find Lucy's necklace? <laughs> I've got it, sure. I don't really recall if we discussed payment yet. I'm not, I'm not going to try to wring money out of a guy literally in tears over his friend just being murdered. I've got it right here, Frank. You can send this to her family now. Frank them. She takes the weapon from you. You can sense a weight lifting from Frank's shoulders. I'm glad, you can, I'm glad I can do this much for Lucy. Thank you, friend. I owe you. Happy to help, or just make sure that gets to Lucy's family. I don't want it turning up in some Lone Star office with my prints on it. <laughs> Ooh, here's a, uh... Well, here's the next... Here, there's the Royale. You know what they call a filthy slum in France, Nick? Royale with bums? Well, let's know. go with that. Sure. Oh, a junkie. Hey, guy, you have any extra nuyen? Just need some sucro zoom from the shack over there. Oh, sucro zoom. Oh, it's probably some sort of sucrose substitute. Sure, hey, here. Man, got me spare to change. Sure, here's a fiver. No way, baked brain, or have ten nuyen. Ten Nutrisoy cakes will fill you up for longer. Thanks, drummer. He's got the munchies, I guess. Man, I got these cheeseburgers. Also, man. Nutrisoy cakes, again with the soy. I know. Soy, nature's rich bounty. Have you had anything soy? I have, I did not enjoy the experience. I detest soy milk. Oh, I God, yes. Yeah. Oh, soy milk, soy milk literally makes me sick. Like, I get nauseated by it. Yeah, yeah. I, it tastes like clay to me. I can't drink it. Come on, guy, let's go. Go find Coyote. Well, I guess apparently in this future, like, all the food, or at least all the food that, like, the average people eat, apparently it's, like, all soy. Or or zebra flesh. <laughs> there is ze there is fresh zebra meat to be had at your at your local butcher. I always, That always gets me about, like, cyberpunk stuff. Like, food is always soy. Soy steaks. How in God's name would you make a steak out of soy? Well, I don't know, but you can make, like, substitutes for a lot of food out of soy. I mean, that is a thing. It's, yeah. I'm not saying it's something you, you would want to eat, necessarily, but... Like, I had boca, which is, like, a combination of coconut and different veggies uh -huh. uh, as a meat substitute, and they actually season it to where it, it does taste like meat. Okay. I mean, it's not a good substitute for, like, burger. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe it would be. It's a good substitute for sausage. Because oh, oh. the texture. We got a new location here. 